Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, we're going to talk about Canva Dream Lab, a new tool that takes your design to the next level. Now this is going to be the landing page of Canva. Now if you're not seeing this on your end, I suggest go back on Canva first. So right now, this is going to be the main page of Canva. I know it's going to be a new user interface versus the one that we're used to, right? So basically, you should see it right here. Dream Lab on the selections right there. Now, for some reason, you're not seeing it on your end. For example, you're having the free trial of Canva. You don't have the pro version. The best thing you can do about this one is go to a URL, type in www.canva.com, right? Like this one right here. And just basically add this prompt right there, Dream Lab. Now, you're going to see right here, it's a pretty basic interface. You're going to have your prompt bar right there. You're going to have your styles right here. Now, speaking of styles, I have a video about Canvas focusing on the styles, which is going to be a really awesome tool. So please check it out. I have my aspect ratio here. Basically, you can change your size. You have one by one, the most famous 16 by nine portrait, nine by 16, two by one, 3.4 and four by three. Also, you'll notice right here on the top right section, there is a number. So basically, what's that? So this is going to be the tokens you're going to have in Dream Lab. Now, right now I'm having the pro version. So don't be afraid if you don't have the pro version, because if you have the free trial, you're still going to have 20 credits here. However, just take note, those 20 credits are not refillable. They don't refresh after you finish them all. Versus for the paid subscription or the pro version, you're going to have 500 tokens refreshed every month. Take note about that one, that's a pretty important information. So next up, what's next? Before we get started in prompting our very own images, I just want to take a look at this awesome images curated inside Dream Lab. You'll notice right here, this is a castle flower, right? Now, if I click on use here, you're going to see the prompt that was used to generate that really awesome image. You'll notice right here that this is going to be a very comprehensive, very detailed out prompt. As best practice, as I always say, please make sure if you want to have your awesome images, have a well written prompt. Right? Anyway, that being said for this one, you can also check this one out. For example, this astronaut. What you'll notice right here is each one of them is a very detailed out prompt. Anyway, for this one, I'm just going to use the first one. Um, the castle, a breathtaking, intricately detailed illustration of a magic castle, composed entirely of delicate pastel pink orchids, suspended serenely in the soft, serene sky with the whimsy white clouds, etc. I'm not gonna finish it because I don't want to take up so much of your time. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna copy everything, like so, and I'm gonna go to Chat GPT. Perfect. Welcome back to the video. So right now I'm currently inside ChatGPT and what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to have this prompt right there. So please follow whatever I type here. This is pretty important. By the way, if you don't have the pro version of ChatGPT, that's perfectly fine because right now I'm using the free trial also. And with the prompt right here is you are my prompt engineer. I'm going to give you a prompt example that will serve as your guide. Then I'll ask you to draft new prompts based on the guide but about different subjects. So this is the most important part. And then basically just paste on the prompt you have from earlier. And now let's have some fun here. I'm just going to pull up my notepad. I have prepared some prompt for GPT here. So it's asking me to know the subject. So the subject of mine will be a portrait of an American burger seller in the streets of New York. Click enter for that one. So welcome back to the video. So I have this prompt right here. As you can see, it gave me two choices. I can use either one of them. So for this one, I'm just going to type in or copy this part right here. Click copy. I'll go back on Dream Lab. So welcome back to the video. Right here, we're currently back on Dream Lab. I'm just going to paste it right there. And for this one, what if I'm going to go for 16 by 9? Because I want it to be on the most famous aspect ratio. And for the style first, I'm going to go for none. So we have a comparison, we're going to have a starting point where we can use different styles and compare it with the original. So I'm going to click on create right here. 
Now upon checking, this will take only a few minutes. I'll get back to you once it's here. Now welcome back to the video. Now for this one, these are gonna be your results. Let's all look at them. So the first one will be this one. Now I just wanna point out how awesome this is. How vibrant it is, right? Now for this one, we're gonna have two options. You can either use in the design. Basically, if you choose using the design for this one, you're gonna use this photo and design it whatever you see fit in a normal Canva procedure. Also, you're gonna have a download button right there. If you click on download, you can now save this image as it is. Pretty awesome, right? Now going back here, let's check for the others. We're gonna have this one right there. As you can see right here, this is another photo. And also we have this one. We also have the last one. Actually, this is a woman. And if you're gonna ask me, I think I'm gonna go with this. I like how the color blend and I like how the spelling is correct. Sometimes in AI, it doesn't give me the correct spelling of what I want. But as you can see right there, classic burger is the correct spelling. You'll notice right here also that there's gonna be three dots, wherein you can create a design for this one, edit the image, delete the image, and basically you can report it. You can also download it on this option right here, and you also have the edit button right there. Now let's go back and chat GPT. Perfect. While in here, I have added a prompt for this one. I'm gonna ask ChatGPT to give me a prompt based on an Italian person walking the streets of Paris. He's carrying a slice of pizza. So I'm just gonna copy everything. This is gonna be the drill. Let's go back on DreamLab. Great. For this one, I'm just gonna paste a prompt there. Make sure this is gonna be on none. And then I'm gonna go for 16 by 9. Click on create. By the way, guys, I'm gonna create a comparison for this one. You'll notice this one. There is a reuse prompt. There's also a tree that's right there. And if I click on this one right here, I can now choose a style because I want to compare the difference of using an original photo, original style versus the one with the feature. So I'm going to go for this one, cinematic concept, click create. And then one more, I'm going to go for smart here, click create. So we're going to have different scenario, different results based on the first prompt we had from earlier. And then we going back on the Italian holding a pizza. We're going to have this one right here. Pretty awesome. It's just like came up from a comic book. And we also have this one. That's a one large slice of pizza. This one right here has a weird smile though, but it's perfect. And the best part for me, I think, would be the first one. This is the one that I like the most. Anyway, going back on the results from earlier, so this one right here would be the cinematic. As you can see right there, it's much more detailed in the lighting. We also have this one. Alright, we also have this one again. Now, I think among the four, I like this woman right now. Versus this one. This is also the cinematic. Now going back in here, this is going to be the smart features. Now. Can you tell me what is the difference? I'll tell you what. The first difference of smart and cinematic and the non is, for the non, original is basically what you get from your prompt. For the cinematic, gives you a different lighting. Now for the smart, it avoids those distortions. I'm gonna show you some distortion right here. Now this is the original, right? You'll notice the hand right there is still distorted, even though the colors are amazing. It's lifelike. For the smart right here, it gives you very minimal to zero distortions. That's gonna be the smart feature right there. Pretty awesome, right? As you can see right there, there are veins in his arms. It's much more realistic. Those are good looking burgers. So those are the samples I'm gonna give you for the very detailed prompt. How about let's try and test the limits of DreamLab. I'm gonna type in here a close up photo of a tiger. That is a very basic prompt which is going to be not very well comprehensive, as I always say, but I want to test the limits, all right? So for this one, I'm going to go first with none. I'm going to go for one by one here, click create, and then I'm going to change the style here. For this, I'm going to go for illustration. So I'm going to have a comparison, right? Now, after illustration, I'm going to go for macro, click create, and I'll get back to you once everything is here. Now, welcome back to the video. We have the first ones right here. This are going to be the none or basically the original prompt using no features or no style. 
you're gonna have this result. You'll notice that it's a pretty basic picture because again, we only use a very basic prompt. Next one, we have the illustrations, right? This one right here. And this is also the illustration option. Now, I wanna show you the macro. Now, this is a close up photo of a tiger using the macro style. So, macro gives you a bit more zoomed in, a bit more close up photo versus the normal one. And you can see right there the detail. The photo is really good, especially the eyes right there. Again, you can use this one in the design. Now, welcome back to the video. So, basically, what I'm doing here is looking for inspiration. So, I'm not really a prompt engineer, I'm not really that good in prompting. So, I'm looking for inspiration here. So let me just type in here, let's go for cat or funny cat, something like that. Now you'll see right here, there are different kinds of cat. For photos, we have this ones. So if you choose this one right there, you don't even have to download this photo right here to get what you need. What you want to do is click on the three dots right there. Look for keywords. So we have funny cat with this sunglass in a toy car on a yellow background. I can simply copy everything here. For example, I'm going to type on my notepad, funny cat with sunglasses, something like that, in toy car on yellow background. Basically, what I'm doing right now is looking for inspiration. And we have the keywords right here. For example, you have vehicle, kitty, ride, driving, and auto. So I'm going to try this one right here. I'm going to go back on Dream Lab. Now, once here, I'm going to paste this one right there. But I don't want to make it a very basic prompt. So what I'm going to do is go back on chat GPT. Now this is going to be chat GPT, right? What you'll notice in every prompt it gives out is the first sentence is a highly detailed prompt. I'm just going to type in here, copy that one. I'm going to paste it right there. So I have a captivating, highly detailed portrait of a funny cat, something like that. How about this one right here? A final detailed portrait of an Italian. Okay, I think I'm, I got what I need here. So I'm going to go back on Dream Lab. Perfect. Now, once you're back here, I'm just going to paste everything. So a captivating, highly dated portrait of a funny cat with sunglasses in a toy car on a yellow background. Let me just fix the spelling just a little bit. Perfect. Of course, I'm going to go for cinematic for this one. I'm going to go for this. Since this is going to be a portrait, I'm going to go for 9 by 16. Click create. And this will only take in about 5 seconds. Again, guys, this is going to be an awesome tip for you. So if you don't have inspiration, go back on Canva and look for keywords. And here's what we have here. Let's try it in a different design. What if we go for cinematic only? Click create right there. By the way, let me just zoom this in so you can really see it. So we have that awesome cat right there. This one right here. And this awesome cat right there. We also have this one. This is cinematic now. Now, for some reason, you're seeing this error. It says lots of people are using Dream Lab right now. Please try in a few minutes. You can simply refresh the page and I'm 100% sure you can have the one that you need. So welcome back to the video. Right here, I'm going to share you another option. Basically, I want to utilize this one. I'm back going to be on the Canva website. So I have the design. It's a really awesome snake design. So what I'm going to do right here is utilize the chat GPT vision option. So let's go back and chat GPT now. As you can see right there, it's already prompted, but I'm going to show you how it works. So I'm going to go open my folder right there. I'm just basically going to drop it on chat GPT. And basically for this one, I'm going to ask chat GPT to um, describe in detail what you see in the image. What you see in the image, basically just like that. Now, what I'm going to do right here is simply click on enter. Now, it will just repeat what it said earlier. Anyway, for this one, in this image, there is a cute cartoon illustration of a snake. And here is the detailed explanation. Really awesome, right? Now, what I'm going to do right now is ask it to turn it into a prompt. So now, turn it into a good prompt. And with that being said, it's now going to make this one as a prompt that I can use going back on Dream Lab. So basically, I'm just going to copy this one. Go back on Dream Lab. Perfect. Now, once we're in back here, I'm just going to paste that right there. Check for spelling. I think I'm going to fix that hyphen right there. Perfect. So rosy pink cheeks. I'm going to go for this one. What if I'm going to go for cinematic? 
And then I'm going to go for 4x3, four just for the sake of the discussion. Click Create. And then another one for Bouquet. Click Create right there. Another one for Illustration. Click and Create. Now, this is what we have. Really awesome, right? This is cinematic. Really cute design right there. This one right here. We also have this one for Bouquet. Really cute, guys. It's really going to ask me. And we have the Illustration right there. Pretty awesome, right? And basically, that is how you use the Dream Lab. To fully utilize it, just follow the steps I gave you. Again, guys, if you're using the free trial, you can only use this one 20 times, and then you need to pay for the subscription plan. If you had the paid version, you're going to have 500 tokens refreshed every month. Now, that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.